everybody. Hello, it is Kim Dudash with Dudash Farms, and we are here. I tell you what, if you have been in East Tennessee today, I hope you have been outside and enjoying this gorgeous, gorgeous weather. Um, this is Kim Dudash, and I'm with Dudash Farms, and we are ready for our Sunday night What's for Dinner at Dudash Farms. And as I promised you last week, we are going to start outside tonight before it gets dark to show you our, um, our work in progress. We have been uh, building on our uh, on-site farm on-site farm on-site store so it's going to show you uh what's going on and how how far we've progressed so let's see if i can flip this around here um and, and show you what we've got first of all check out this sunset all right if you've never been to dudash farms this is the sunset at dudash farms isn't that beautiful and here is our concrete slab this is the beginning of our on-site store at Dudash Farms, and we are really excited to bring this to you guys. Um, hopefully, it will be open sometime this summer. Uh, if any of you have had uh, or tried to have work done at your home, uh, you know how difficult it is to get uh, folks. I mean, everyone is so busy in the construction world, so uh, we're, like I said, we're hoping to have this open. Um, as of, uh, you know, sometime this summer, and we will be able to uh, service you better with on-site sales at the farm. Now, that doesn't mean that we will no longer be selling at the farmer's market. We will always be at the Dandridge Farmer's Market. And, by the way, the Dandridge Farmer's Market starts um, on April the 30th, Saturday, April the 30th, and it will go all the way through um, October the I think it's the 15th the middle of October that that middle um, I think it's the 15th of October so rain or shine we will be there downtown Dandridge all right so that's how we're that's what's going on at Dudash Farms in terms of getting ready for you guys um, I'm gonna take you inside and uh, see what Brian's cooking up this, this evening, we are preparing what we're calling slow cooker Hawaiian pork sliders. So last week, if you watched, we um, used our pork or our ham roast for, um, I'm trying to watch my steps here as I'm walking in, uh, to prepare burrito in a bowl, and uh, it was great. So we're using the same cut of uh, meat we don't normally do that, but we're going to do that tonight uh, to just show you some different ways to prepare it. So let's see if we can find Chef Dudash around here. Hello, Brian. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> so tell us what we're doing tonight. So I don't know what you've already said. Yeah, uh, well, I was telling them that we are preparing uh, slow cooker Hawaiian pork sliders. Uh, yeah. yeah. So our plan was to serve it on some homemade Hawaiian sweet bread. And that, we're still going to do that. Yes, but it won't be ready for the show. Yeah. Um, so we have it in the bread machine right now. Yeah. And we had some neighbors come over and visit, which was nice. We, we did. Time, we but did. we got the bread started a little later than we wanted. Yeah. But the beauty of this particular dish is that you can put it all in the slow cooker, all in the bread maker if yeah. you have one, and basically go outside in this beautiful weather. And we had a busy day, right? We did we have a busy, busy day. We Doing stuff around the house, cleaning up, planting, yeah. uh, some stuff in the garden, and yeah. just getting some spring cleaning done. Yeah, well, I was showing them the sunset out there. Yeah, beautiful. It is, it really is. So we just wait around. The weather's going to change. I know, right? I think by this same? this uh, weekend, around. it's supposed to be uh, 20 degrees. That's the low. So, yes. yeah. But today, y'all, it was 80 degrees in East Tennessee. Yeah. yeah. So, I heard you mention about the recipe we did last week, the, yep. the burrito in the bowl. Um, uh, you could cook it the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we would, you would not have obviously put in this sweet sauce in here. I already took, I already took the bones out. 
<laughs> I have to tell you that people are commenting about your shirt. Matthew Anderson says, nice shirt. Brad says, did Kim make you wear that shirt? Yeah, I lost a bit. I didn't write, how, about, how about that? I no, know. I did not lose a See, bit. I don't always listen to my wife. I'm going to let you finish the rest of it, Brian. What does it say? I don't remember. Yeah, come on now. What does it say? Um, but when I do, things is... tend to work out better. Okay, That's right. back to the <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so we put in the pork roast. Yes. And we went in and put in all the liquids, all the seasoning, because you want this meat to be covered with liquid. That's right. Um, you can, I mean, I know plenty of people that will do a chuck roast. Uh, without putting liquid in there, but I just think it keeps it. Moist. It really does. So tell us what the what the uh, so all, all the ingredients. Yeah, yeah, what the ingredients so are. So we did two and a half cups of pineapple juice, um, about a one inch piece of fresh ginger that was grated, two cloves of garlic that were finely minced, uh, a third of a cup of light brown sugar, two thirds of a cup of soy sauce, two thirds of a cup of ketchup. And you can, I didn't put anything in here yet, but you can put in some sriracha or I like, I prefer chili sauce. I'm right. not a fan of, um, of the uh, sriracha. sriracha. Yeah. yeah. And you're not a fan of either one. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this, we cooked it on low for about 10 hours. Yeah. And so now it's, we're ready to um, it's, shred it. That's right. It's yeah. just going to pull apart. And y'all, let me just tell you that our house right now smells amazing. I know we say that every week, but. I'm telling you, this week it really smells amazing. So if you're just joining us, we are making slow cooker Hawaiian uh, pork sliders. Yep. And we have basically prepared this with a ham roast, which is exactly what we used last week for our um, burrito in a bowl. Um, yeah, but we didn't cook it in the crock pot. If you remember, that's right. We so. cooked it on the stove. And, I mean, if you don't have a crock pot, you can actually do this one on the stove as well. It's yeah. going to take a little bit, but you can do the same thing. So when we send out the recipe, we will remind you that that is an option. But we chose to uh, prepare this in the crock pot today because on the farm... Spring days like today are very busy days. So we spent our day, we put this um, we put this roast in early this morning and then we have been outside uh, just basically planting onions and uh, staining our deck and you know, just all the things you gotta do around the farm. So uh, let's catch up and see who we've got watching. Um, let's see here. So I know I saw that Brad and I hope the boys are watching too. And if they are, we love you. We love you boys very much. Um, Vicki Anders is watching. She says hello. And, uh, Jody Wright says hello. Patty Gibson, you finally got to meet us. You didn't have to watch the replay. You're here with us tonight. Beautiful day. I tell you what, it, it absolutely was a beautiful day. And, but like Brian said, hang on. Uh, we're living in East Tennessee, so we'll probably get winter again here in a couple of days. But we're thankful for what we've got. Debbie Gott is watching. Debbie, I miss you. Um, Joe Segan said, let's see the build. Yeah, you know, as we build this uh, on-site um, store, we will keep you guys informed. So as, if you're just joining us at the beginning, you'll have to go back and watch. I showed you where we are starting to build our on-site um, store location. So uh, we're excited about that. Let's see. John Markham says, hey, Brian, who did the estimate? <laughs> I did. <laughs> he did. Okay. So that I guess was that, not the low bidder. He was not the low bidder. Okay. That must be an inside thing. So uh, Betty Longworth. Hey, I know you're watching. Betty, you called me and left me a message. I need to call you back. I will do that. Uh, I will do that tomorrow. Um, Donna Richardson is watching. Angela Madden. Howdy, friends. Howdy, Angela. I got to see Angela this last week. Always the highlight of any day, uh, spending time with Angela Madden. Um, what did you do wrong, Brian? I guess that's in reference to the shirt. But to be fair, here's my shirt, y'all. It says, just a girl in love with a farmer. So see, I did my part too. Um, 
Let's see. Hey, Eric is watching. Eric Smeltzer is watching. Hey, Eric. I got to see your mom and daddy today, and I asked about you, and I hope you're doing good. You're going to have to come down and see us, especially when our, we get our little piggies. Curtis Hilbin says, oh, no. I don't know what Curtis is talking about. Maybe the shirt. Um, and Ann Dudash is watching. Mom is watching, so say hello, Brian. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. All right, y'all, we appreciate you hanging out with us tonight. Um, just wanted to also remind you, not only are we working on this on-site store, we will be at the Dandridge Farmer's Market starting April the 30th, um, 8 to noon. We are so excited about the market season. We will be there every Saturday, rain or shine, uh, until October the 15th. So y'all come out and hang out with us and see what's there. We've got some great vendors this year. Um, and we're excited about it. It's going to be great. Um, also, we are now selling, we mentioned this last week, but we are also selling at Martha's Market in downtown Dandridge. So you guys need to come out, visit Martha's Market. If you haven't been down there, they have redone that beautiful building. Um, there's so much in there. There are four businesses inside Martha's Market that are all women-owned. Uh, we've got Cake by the Lake. We've got um, Alleyway Cafe. We've got Martha's Market. And I know there's one more. I do this. I should have checked. I did this last week. I don't remember. But you guys, it is beautiful. You need to go down there. So if you're trying to figure out where that is, if you don't live in Dandridge, but you have ever been to the point in Dandridge, which is the restaurant there on the lake. Or the courthouse. Or the courthouse there. It's uh, catty corner to the courthouse, and it's right before you go over the bridge to go to the point. Okay, so you guys need to stop in there and see Julie and all of her team. That little place is just beautiful. And if you're looking for a unique um, sort of local gift, that's the place to go. It's gorgeous. So we have our products there. So if you can't make it out to the farm uh, until the market comes or even while the market's going on, if you need something that um, you didn't pick up at the market, you can go to Martha's Market and pick it up there. We don't have all of our cuts of, of meat there, but we do have what's most popular, okay? So you should be able to find it there. Um, also, Meek's Food Truck. Oh, yeah. Like Meek's Food Truck. So, there is a food truck in this area, in the Dandridge area, Meek's Food Truck, that you can usually find them in the lot next to Weigel's in Dandridge off of exit 417. Meek's Food Truck serves one of the best burgers, and I'm not just saying this because it's our beef, but he serves one of the best hamburgers or cheeseburgers I have ever had in my life. You guys need to go out to... And he's uh, on Facebook. It's and he, That's right. So look for a Meeks food truck. Best burgers ever. I know we have a lot of people who are on spring break this week. You need to find Meeks food truck and you need to try out his beef. Uh, try out his burgers because he's serving Dudash Farms beef. So, And we are so proud of, of that. So... Um, so yeah, and y'all, this week, Brian and I had the opportunity, we want to, um, give a shout out to Kayla and the, uh, U University of Tennessee Veterinary School for uh, inviting us to come out and talk about Dudash Farms and to talk about, we call it our pig talk, uh, to talk about what we do with raising pigs and, and what it's like to, um, raise them, what it's like to process them, and what it's like to sell the uh, pork. So we really had a ball at the UT uh, Veterinary School, and we met some really neat people. So we just want to give a shout out to them and say thank you for allowing us to come and be with you guys. Um, we really appreciate it, and we really enjoyed it. So um, let's see. What else do we want to talk about, Brian? Um, well, we talked about the garden. We spent a lot of time in the garden today. If we have bloodshot eyes, it's because we're worn out. Um, and it was a lot of fun. Um, also, newsletter. So if you are just joining us, this, if this is your very first What's for Dinner at Dudash Farms, uh, we actually do a newsletter once a month 
that um, has all of the recipes that we prepare on What's For Dinner at Dudash Farms for the previous month. So the one for February, it's actually the March Loot Newsletter with all of the February um, recipes that went out this week. Um, and if you go and to our website, which is do-farms.com and subscribe, you will get that and you will get um, the newsletters as they come out. Okay, so and if you have subscribed to our newsletter on Monday mornings, I will send out, it actually goes out around noon, um, I will send out the recipe that we are preparing tonight tomorrow so that if you want to do that this week you will have it ready all right um, so we appreciate that let's see if there's any other comments that we have overlooked while I have been rambling on and on and on um, okay let's see what Brian is doing are you ready for us Brian yeah. all right let's see right, what let's we can get in the bowl since we're still waiting on the okay but this is we just shredded it with a couple forks and it just yeah. breaks apart so we got that kind of a, it's a sweet soy sauce that's in there. Yes. It's pineapple juice based. Obviously some garlic as usual. Mm, and of course. Some fresh ginger. It yep. smells, like I said, it smells really it good. It really good. does. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait until the bread is done. <laughs> I know. So, yeah, our bread is not done yet, but you can see, look at this. This bread is like popping up to the top. It is ready to go. Yeah, um, it's a sweet bread. It's a sweet, yeah. So it's a Hawaiian, you know those Hawaiian rolls that you get at the grocery. We We're actually like making our own. Yeah. That, that's right. We're making our own because we know exactly what went in it, right? So we we will, actually has pineapple juice too, so we should, we'll include the recipe for the bread too. That's right. So that's what I was uh, about to say. Yeah. So you can smell that. Oh, uh, it smells delicious. Smell on the bread there. It smells great. So you all, so basically this is the slider um, mixture that will go on to our uh, homemade bread once it is done. Um, and then, like, like Brian just said, we will include not only the recipe for our Hawaiian pork, but we will also include the um, recipe for the Hawaiian rolls, so you can put that together. Angela Madden says, you get to see me again this week since I need chorizo and spicy Italian sausage. Just the best ever. Aw, you know what, guys? We love you guys, and um, thank you, Angela. We appreciate that. S Laura Wall says, sounds absolutely delicious. Laura, seriously, you know, we always say that it smells so good around here, but I'm not kidding you. This kitchen. I'm surprised you can't smell it. Better. I, I know, it's right? Wind. It smells. <laughs> I know. Has it not been windy today? So it has been great. So, I mean, and I know it's been a really short what's for dinner at Doodash Farms tonight, but y'all. That's, I mean, it's really simple, super easy. Um, if you have a crock pot, you just put it in the crock pot, go and do whatever you got to do for the day, and then come back and eat a delicious meal. So, um, yeah, that's it. So, yeah. Anything else? Nope. Let's nope. Eat. I think he's ready to eat. You guys have a great week, and we appreciate your business. Don't forget Martha's Market and... Um, Dandridge Farmer's Market coming around, and we'll catch up with you later. Thank you. Have a great week. Bye.